Greetings and salutations, YouTube Wander. The Lost One Game here, and welcome to Crossroads Inn. Now, this is a management simulation game where your goal is to start up your very own tavern and create a place where people can come and eat and drink and be merry and possibly stay the night after they've had maybe a little bit too much to drink. But, without further ado, let's jump into it, shall we? So, I'm going to play the sandbox mode. There is a campaign mode, which is sort of like the tutorial, but I'm just going to go ahead and play the sandbox mode, and I'm going to play on normal I don't know if I really want to play on challenging because, you know, I don't know exactly what I'm doing. I tried to record an episode before this and it was so embarrassing that I don't even, I didn't think it was worth posting. I spent like 20 minutes trying to figure out why my customers weren't getting anything, only to realize that I forgot to put my drinks on the menu. <laughs> and I was like, oh, that would explain things. So yeah, hopefully I, I learned my lesson from that time and hopefully things will go a little bit smoother this time around. Alright, so this is our land. This is where we will start our very humble beginnings with our very own tavern. Now, hopefully I've learned from, like I said the last time, and I know how, I, how to do things this time. But we need to start by building the main hall, which is the place where everybody's going to come and sit and have their food and everything else. But I think for right now, we're not really going to have food. I think I'm just going to have drinks. Because, you know, food is a lot to do, you know, and I don't know if we're prepared for that just yet. I think we have enough money to do it, but I, I don't... I haven't figured, I sort of haven't figured that part out yet. <laughs> I might figure it out. I usually learn games like this as I go, or I play a little bit afterwards and figure things out. But that's going to be our, the size of our main hall. I think I'm going to go ahead and also put in a storage room. Um, actually, I might need to put in a staff room too. Because everybody's going to need to take breaks at some point. But I'm going to put the storage room back here, maybe. I guess this will be good. Like two, two spaces should be good enough for our storage room. I'm going to have to put some buildings outside too, um, but for right now that should be fine. And I guess I'll go ahead and put the staff room over on this side. Alright. And of course we must have doors connecting all these things together. Now at some point I will be able to, or I should be able to, create a room for someone to rent out. But I don't think anybody's really needing that right now, so we're not going to worry about it. I'm going to put one door up front there. And now I believe it is time to furnish this here at tavern. So let's see, for our main hall, we definitely want to have one of these, a desk. I was going to say if I put it that far in the corner, I don't think anybody can get to it. But we're going to have one there. I think that's enough space. I don't know exactly how much space I need because, you know, Sims, if I was to put that in Sims, they'd be like, I can't get to it. So that's going to be there. I think we completed a task already from that. So I think I'm going to do also, I need tables. So we're going to put a table. I don't like the way that I got this set up right now, though. This kind of looks funky. I don't like this. I don't know if the doors are going to get in the way of everything, too. But I'm, I'm just going to put two tables in for right now. If it gets in the way, it gets in the way. I'll figure it out later. So I'll put in a set of benches there. We'll put one there, and then I'll put another one over here. This door is going to, like, just... <laughs> Everything's gonna be so unfunctional right now. I don't know if people can squeeze through there I mean it looks like they can but I wouldn't be surprised if they couldn't so now we've got our tables together Now I think we need to work on a little bit of the decor. Well, I need a dishwasher somewhere I just I guess I'm gonna throw it in this corner now one thing I still haven't figured out how to do is rotate the camera I figured out how to zoom but I haven't figured out how to rotate the camera yet. So this is <laughs> I'm stuck like this for right now. So I'm, I'm gonna put it here in hopes that it will function in that way. I can't see it, but uh, it's there. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Now to our storage room, which is back here. I'm gonna go ahead and put a shelf in here, which I guess I need to face the shelf that way instead. So put the shelf there. I want to also have a barrel, a simple barrel, and I think I wanna have a water barrel too. So we'll put one barrel here, and then I'll have another barrel over in this corner here. I think this is going to work. It should. Okay, I guess the door isn't going to cause any problems there, so we should be fine. Okay, so anything else that I needed inside? I'm, uh, I think that, well, I needed the staff room, so I guess I'll just put some chairs in there. Or a bench. That might work. I'll just throw it in the corner. Everybody can come in here and have themselves a little seat once they decide to take their break, because I didn't have one of these before. I can't put it over there, I don't think. I think because the, the table or the door is too much in the way. Never mind. I fit it there anyway somehow. So never mind. I stand corrected. So with that being done now, I think our next move is going to be to go ahead and put some windows in here so that people can see in and out. Otherwise, it's going to be very dull and depressing in here. Though it's going to be that anyway, probably. But we'll have a window there. 
window there. Window into the staff room so we can peep in on people and see what they're doing while they're on break. <laughs> That's not at all creepy. Not at all. Okay, don't question it. I'll just go ahead and put windows around the side too, just because I can. I guess I won't bother putting any in the back, so we'll just leave those there. Now in terms of outside things, I do believe that I want to have a pallet so that we can have a room for our supplies to come in. So I'll throw the pallet there. I want to have a well, because well, it's a well. So there we go, we'll throw the well out front here. And then, I got another achievement for that. I have a notice board too. I'm not exactly sure what this does. I know in the tutorial it served some purpose, but I don't know what purpose it serves in the sandbox mode. But I'm just gonna, kind of covers the window. It kind of defeats the purpose of me putting the windows here, doesn't it? I'm putting it there anyway, I don't care. And of course, we're gonna have to have an outhouse. This one's very disgusting and depressing, but you know what, it's the only one we got. So we're just gonna throw it over here in this corner. And uh, you know, it'll just be out of the way so people don't have to smell it when it starts to smell. Because I know it probably will. I'm trying to think if there was anything else that I needed. Oh, chandeliers, of course, the lighting. Who can forget the lighting that must be had? I'll put one there, or two there, I'm sorry. And another one back in the storage room so we don't bump around in there and knock everything over. Anything else? That's a torch. I want to have lamp posts outside. That would be nice. So I guess I can't put that there because that's out of my land space. I don't know if eventually I can actually buy more land. It would seem like I could. I don't know what that is. Because, I mean, this is kind of small. I mean, I can go up, too, so I guess maybe I don't get any more land. That might be the case. Um, Anything else that I, that I needed? I don't think there was anything else. I'm going to remember it later. I think I need a wood shed. Because I know I'm going to have, in terms of supplies, I'm probably going to have some wood. So I need a wood shed, which is this right here. We're going to put this just out back there, because where else would you have a wood shed? And... We're not going to have a stove right now because I don't have a kitchen. So, I think that's it. I think I got everything that I needed, or that I wanted. Okay, so now we can unpause. Of course, the place is going to be built. Right now it looks a freaking mess, but we're going to get it together eventually. Eventually. I don't know how long it's going to take to build. It's taking a minute. Maybe my guy is going to have to come over here and do it himself. <laughs> I guess I could speed up though a little bit, so then we'll see how this goes. Um, I do need to hire some employees. Oh, there we go. Now everything's together. Good. Nice. Lovely. So let's go ahead and hire some employees for this tavern. Because, of course, what is a tavern without its employees? So in our workers window here, we need to hire, I think it's part of a quest too, actually. Or an objective. So main hall, if I do this, our fame rises. Your reputation is improving. Wasn't expecting that. It was very creepy, but it's okay. My reputation increases, so now we're up to seven fame. Um, let's see. The Forge of Taste. Build a kitchen. I'm not doing that just yet. First guess, we haven't opened up yet. So we need, for this one, Dream Team. We need to hire a servant, a drudge, and a kitchen hand. So I will go ahead and do that quickly. So a servant, we have, let's see who we can hire. We have Kenji, who is chaotic. Never know what to expect. I don't think we want this person. Uh, we don't know what that trait is. And tough, blessed with exceptionally good immunity and a great physique. Let's see, we've got Imka, who is greedy, and that's all we know. And we've got Eva, or Eva, who is also greedy, drunk, and lawful, though. Hmm. And also speedy. I don't... Hmm, I'm, I'm thinking between Kenji and Eva, or Eva, but the chaoticness... I don't know if we can deal... What the frick just happened there? What are you doing? <laughs> I guess we're gonna... I don't wanna... Uh, I'm going with Kenji, I guess, just because she's not drunk all the time. <laughs> we'll go with Kenji. Alright, so that's our servant. Now we're going to need a kitchen hand and a drudge. So we got Falk, Coleman, and Eivor for drudges. So we've got Falk, who is brave, dull, uh, per uh, perfectionist, and a slow poke. Mm. We've got Coleman, who is lawful, loyal. I like him, and a perfectionist. Yeah, we're gonna hire him. He's cheap. He's the cheapest one too. I don't know exactly why he's that cheap. It's probably something that I don't know about, and it's gonna cost me in the long run. But for right now, he's what we got. So, so now, what was the last one I need? I need a drudge. I need a kitchen hand. Okay, so a kitchen. Do I really need a kitchen hand though? We don't even have a kitchen. I don't feel like that's necessary right now. 
But between, okay, we've got Agnar here. Agnar and Max. Did someone use the toilet? I thought I saw the toilet door close. Maybe I'm seeing things. So he's greedy. Greedy, lazy, and a slack. I can't hire him. There's no way I can hire him. We're going to hire Maxim. All right. I think Maxim was cheaper anyway, but I think he's a better employee, so we're going to hire him. So now that task should be officially complete now. So we should have all the employees that we're going to need. Um, and I think I should be able to collect a reward for that. Five new random workers available for hire. So yes, that would be good. Uh, extra hand. I guess they want me to hire a second laborer because we got a lot of crap going on right now. And a lot of stuff to clean up too because this place is kind of a mess. So um, I think that would be a good idea. I want to, before I forget how to do this stuff. Alright. Simple counter. I need to figure out how I can do my menu. Okay, so we can do, at the moment we have table wine. And I think we have lager. Now I don't know... Let's see, I'm trying to see what we have based on storage. I know we have like 10 lager maybe, so storage. Let me see. We have in here, that's the lager there. I don't know why table wine is on there, because I don't think we even have any wine at the moment. We got water coming from the well. And then here we have, I believe we have bread and garlic, so we can make garlic bread if I'm not mistaken. So that's all we got. So I'm not exactly sure why we have the other I mean I could buy some wine for us to sell but I don't know if now's the time I guess we'll just do what we have or use what we have the quality of the main hall is currently a half a star <laughs> so that's that's not great I mean ev eventually I guess we can improve it so adding to the end menu so we're gonna add we don't want to do garlic bread just yet because we don't have all the necessary things because we don't have I think we need a stove and then the, the garlic and the bread so we're gonna do the lager for right now so I'm just gonna put that on there price is 33 gold all right so I think that might have completed another task prepare the menu it did indeed because we added something to the menu all right cooking notes learn 10 different recipes we have not done that yet and I don't know how far away we are from that what did we get for that a random recipe we got boiled bean and onion that doesn't sound appetizing to me but uh, <laughs> okay maybe it is to someone else so I think we can go ahead and open up. I don't think we're lacking anything outside of food, but most of the people that come in will probably just want drinks anyway. So we're going to open up and we're going to see what we can get done. Now it did want me to hire... Alright, that's the first guest, so we do have some people coming in. I'm going to go ahead and hire a second laborer just because it wanted me to. Um, and I guess we'll have them do some stuff outside in terms of cleaning up and things of that nature. Cheerful, coward, and tough. Hmm. How are you? I guess that. I guess that's possible. Dull, but brave. Dull, brave, and a perfectionist, and also a slowpoke. I feel like I'm gonna actually use Evor instead. All right. So we did that. So now we got the extra hand. I'm trying to see if we're actually making any money. Twenty-one thousand two hundred eighty. I think we are actually selling some of this here. Yes. Yes. We're doing good. Now, how much we're we gonna? How much are we going to get? I don't know how to look at our finances right now. I need to figure that part out too. Um, let's see. Services, warehouse, guest window, statistics. Here we go. So, so far, we've spent 13,720 gold. We've made no money yet. It seems like we made something because I think our money just went up. I don't know if it updated or not. I, I don't think it updated because I definitely thought we... Yeah, okay. So, we made 66 gold back so far. So, I think we've sold like two units. We have to buy some more. I got to keep the supply chain going, but let's see. We've got the crossroads here because this was called Crossroads Inn because we're right next to the crossroads. I can't really do anything there because that's not a market for me to buy anything from. So right now the logger is 77 per 10 units. I'm trying. I my math is terrible. At some point I might be able to calculate this and figure out what the margin of profit is for us selling it by 30. If we if we it's 77 for 10. If we sell 10 units at 33 gold, that's like 330, right? So we're making like 200 something gold out, out of that. So that's not too bad. Although I didn't account for wages. I don't know how wages are paid. I don't know if they're paid like monthly or yearly or something. I don't know how that works at all. Still haven't figured that out. So we're going to buy some more logger, I guess. I might go ahead and buy like 20 units just because. All right. So let's go ahead and do that. One of your employees is sick. 
Oh no, Eivor. We just hired Eivor. How the frick is he sick already? <laughs> How did he get sick already? That shouldn't even be possible. He just got hired. But people are sitting down and drinking and having themselves a good time. Someone looks like they stink. This person, oh, that's Eivor, because he's yeah. sick. I'm sorry, Eivor. I guess take your broom and clean in the corner or something. <laughs> I'm sorry that you got sick. I do need this removed, though, if anybody has time. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. I, I forgot your name. Biceps. Coleman. Both are ready to work. I was going to say, I would hope you have two biceps, because if you have any less, that's going to be a problem. If you have any more, that's probably also a problem. <laughs> All right. Poor service. Excuse you. How dare you talk about our service? Did we get a tip out of that? I felt like we got a tip. I thought I saw like 31 or something plus more. 33. Okay, so 33 flat. Never mind. I might have to lower the prices. I don't know. What the? It's dirty down here. Excuse me. I need. If you're going to clean, I need you to clean this, because this looks disgusting. It looks like it's just covered in crap. I don't know if that's actually dirt or not, but <laughs> let's make this the priority here. I need this to be cleaned. Let's see, the cleanliness right now, yeah, it's at a one. It's definitely not great. It's just disgusting in here. I was going to say, I might literally have to close down just for us to clean. <laughs> just for us to clean, it seems like. Or I might have to hire another servant, because, like, <laughs> Evor is just hiding in the corner over there. I have no... <laughs> he's, he's not in a very good shape right now at all. All right. Best way to increase your fame is to simply satisfy your guests. Various events can boost it as well. You can also enhance it by hiring town criers to advertise your services. Right now, we can barely handle what we got, so I don't think we really need that. I think our uh, logger did come in, which is why um, is Coleman line. bringing that in. I'm never going to remember these people's names. I don't know why I'm even attempting to do it. Oh, someone said we had good service. Yes, look at that, finally. We're making a name for ourselves. Do we still have, like, dishes? Did any of them break? <laughs> so I know they can break. We do have the dishwasher in the corner. So I don't know. Are we running out? I'm not exactly sure. I might have to buy some more mugs. Unless they're back in the back. Do we have any more mugs back here? I don't think so. No, we don't. So I think we might be about out of mugs. And it's still disgusting in here. For some reason. <laughs> um, Five more left. I guess we're okay for now. I'm going to say we're okay for now. Is it clean in here again? It's not. It's still at a level one. <laughs> God dang it. Can we clean this up some more? I might have to hire... Let's see. He's still sick. So I can't get him to do anything. I, I guess he's cleaning dishes. I'm trying to figure out what each one of my people are doing. Because one's supposed to be clean, like taking orders. The other one is supposed to be, I guess, cleaning. And then we've got... What are you doing? Can you clean? I need you to clean. Or someone to clean. I guess I'll just hire somebody else just for the moment, just because, because if we can't, let's see, I want to say, let's see, you are cleaning, technically, sort of, maybe I'll just wait till he gets better, I guess we'll just have it be dirty for now, <laughs> we'll just have it be dirty for now, I still made this the priority, so, I mean, eventually somebody will get to it, I guess, it still just looks disgusting, in here. why are we cleaning the storage room, clean this, <laughs> Clean this mess. Clean all... Maybe it's not actually that... Okay, well, he's now finally cleaning it. Did it go up at all? It still seems like it's a level one, so I don't know if that even has anything to do with it. I don't know. Maybe it's just dirty looking. I don't know. Whatever. All right. But at least we're making a little bit of money so far. I, I, okay, so we've made... So far today, on day two, we've made 230 gold. In terms of total income with 44 in terms of our expenses so we're at a profit of 187 gold currently we have a favor of 52 percent with the distressed folk as they are called in the game aka depressed drunks i guess which is kind of it is in and of itself depressing <laughs> now let's see so resources used so we we lost nine mugs because they're dirty okay and then we have seven mugs Okay, I'm still okay. So I was trying to keep up on the mugs to make sure we still had any. There's Your no food available. Ah, oh, great. What can I do for that employee? Sever. Hello there. Is this? this life turned can out I change what you do now? To be so bad. I don't know if I can. Carrying, cleaning. <laughs> hmm. I don't know. Let's see. I guess I got everything on medium. So 
Maybe I should just have one person focus on cleaning completely, so maybe Eivor should just be the cleaning guy. I mean, but he's supposed to... Let's see, power. Feeling nauseous. I still can't cure it, I guess, so I don't know if he's ever going to recover. I'm just going to have him cleaning for right now. This is going to be his number one task, and everything else is just going to go to low. Alright. So, yep. There we go. I do still need someone to clean up outside, though. <laughs> so... Don't know how we're gonna do that. I, I guess eventually somebody will go out there. Do we have how much do we have left in terms of logger? Still have 12 units left. So we're okay for now. Just for now. <laughs> 33. I came hungry and I'm leaving hungry. Look, I'm sorry we don't have food yet. We don't have a kitchen. Okay, I'll build a kitchen in a little bit. Eventually. I'm just trying to see if we can keep up with drinks right now. Just like so please. Bear with me. Bear with me. Soon enough. Literally starving to death. Well, I'm sorry. Bring me something to drink. See, most people want drinks. Most people. You don't have enough mugs? God dang it. Who's leveling up now? Kinji. Okay, so Kinji. Let me see. Something? That's Maxon. Yeah, you, please don't burn down the entire place if you burn something. I don't need that right now. <laughs> Do not <laughs> need that. I'm trying to click... There you go. Pour the beer. Sell 20 mugs of lager. So we completed another task. Alright. I don't think there's anything that I can do to upgrade people. I, I tried, well, I was going to say there, but that, that doesn't do anything. So never mind. Okay. So I think, let's see, I need to claim my reward for that. So my fame is going to go up no, now, so we're up to eight. Is improving. Yes, my reputation is improving. And I also, I guess I was supposed to claim this too. No, reputation is improving. And this too, 500 gold. So now we're up to 22,000 gold. Bad Apple, lay off an employee. I don't want to lay somebody off. I just hired these guys. I like them. And we also did a little bit of land uh, landscaping because I finally got this carried away. Oh, I believe we're going to be able to use that, though, in the woodshed. So we'll have that at some point when we get our stove going. We'll have enough wood for that. At least for the, in the very beginning. Your reputation is improving. Look at my reputation. Look, it's improving. <laughs> I, I need to buy more mugs, though. I, I need to see if I can buy mugs from... Uh, what we, we bought it from the Incredible Farmers last time, didn't we? Do they have mugs? I need more mugs. Why are, the, why are the mugs more expensive than the drink, seemingly? They are. It's not... I, I should probably look around for prices. Because that doesn't seem very good. Let's see about here. Oh, it's very cheap here. Roxbury's Mansion. Well, the mugs are the same price, but the lager's cheaper. So I think what we're going to do is I'm going to try and haggle maybe on the mugs. So we'll get 10 mugs. I'll haggle down on the price some. And then we'll get some more lager from here too. So we'll go ahead and get uh, maybe 20 more units here. Alright, that's going to complete our order for 291 gold. Which I think that's going to take us into the negative for the day. Which is unfortunate. Well, actually, no. We made 1100 gold today. We've been selling quite well. I don't know how we made that much. <laughs> I guess we, did, what, we had like 40 units of lager before. I think we've sold like a good bit today. How much do we have left? Five units. We didn't exact. Well, I guess we're gonna need some, considering how many people are in here right now. It probably was a good idea to buy some more. I don't know if it's gonna get here in time, but before we run out today, but we'll see. I bought some more mugs. They're gonna be here shortly. Don't you freaking worry about it. Don't worry. It's not a big concern. It's gonna be dealt with very soon enough. Have ten guests sleeping in your inn at the same time. Sleeping? There's no one here sleeping. They shouldn't be at least. Or did they fall asleep at the table? <laughs> people are using the outhouse now. <laughs> An outhouse would be there is an outhouse. It's right there. It's right there. Don't 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 say things don't say things like that as if I don't have them. They're literally right there. I'm still waiting on supplies. This is a little bit of an issue. It's starting to become a little bit of an issue, I guess. Um Where are my supplies gonna get here? Where are my supplies? Ooh, we got a tip. Three gold. Alright, the supplies have now gotten here. So I believe we should have someone going out to deal with that. So I'm gonna make this the priority here. Alright, so we should have... Are you going out I there to deal with this, Coleman? Yes, please use your two biceps. Oh no, it's, it's gonna be Eivor again. Eivor is going to deal with it. Eivor in his sick self. I told him to clean. Why is he the first one that went out there? It should be you guys. Yay. You guys have less to worry about. <laughs> Alright, so you're going in picking up that one, and then I guess Eivor is going to pick up the other one. So he got the mugs. He got some of the lager, so I, st I, st I still think we have more of the lager left to come in. <laughs> But alright, we'll have some more mugs. Require. 
I guess maybe I should do that. Maybe that's why we didn't have anything going on, because I had too many freaking... I didn't have it being required for us to wash dishes. Some things I will figure out as I go. That might have been one of the things. All right, we want to run out of one in the greenness, which we should have now, because I literally just brought it in. We just brought it in. No, I guess he hasn't made it here yet. Come on, Eivor, you can do it. I believe in you. I believe. He's going to make it. He did it. He did it. Unless we sold out just that quick. Okay, no, that's the 10 units there, and we should have more there. So he should be bringing in the rest of it. So I think we should be good. So in terms of finances for today, or that was day three. Can I go back and look at other days? Is that possible? Day three, guest summary? I guess not. Uh, well. Well, actually, no. Wait, wait, wait. I was going to say, can we go the week so far? So can I? I guess not. I wanted to go back and look at, like, day two. Like yesterday, because yesterday we did pretty well. I'm trying to compare it to today, but I guess I can't. Maybe I'll figure that out, too. Maybe there's a way I can go back. Okay, so the, yeah, there's our weekly finances, pretty much. So drink sales for the week, 1,089. Resources costs, 545. Staff payments, 181. So we're still in the green so far. There's no rent income because we don't have any place to rent out yet. So poor service for Guntrum. Good service, poor service. Inn is really clean. Okay, so they, they didn't say it was that dirty, even though I thought it said it was dirty. So we're fine then. An outhouse would be nice. That was that guy, which there's no food. Yeah, I know. I might build a kitchen maybe next episode. I think that might be a good idea. Maybe I can figure out how to get it to work, hopefully. I'm going to have to buy a bunch of more supplies for that, though. I don't know if I can... <laughs> my supply chain so far has... My supply chain management has not been great so far, so... Um... But I'm going to end it here, guys... And I will see you in the next one.